in the recording. So here we are discussing about the SPMS transport management system. So as part of this configuration, this concept, we created, we discussed about the how to create the transport routes, layers. So then, so adding the systems, domain controller, all those things here. So let's start how to create the request means SE01, 09 or SE10. We will use it. We will create the request here, right? Normally to create the request, go to the SAP SE01, right? So click on the create button, workbench request or customization request or transport of copies, anything, right? This is the refresh time. We will use it. This is the cross client applicable for the all the clients and all the systems here and workbench customization is only client specific request here right that is the customization and workbench request click on the create button right so short description here so description means so what changes you are going to move it here suppose you are going to move the some table normally this will be done by the your the development team then it will create the request you can see the request here request means to carry back inside of the carry back we can add the data so ignore if you are facing the issues then ignore it why because adding the data objects into the request it will be that made the developers okay just to create 50 request number 50 you created then just click on the release you need to release it right request creation release then modifiable will go then will come to the released status here modifiable will go and release it here when it is released the request will split into the the tr request means tr will split into split into two files this is the two files here one is the co files and data files here co files and data files here co files means so it starts with the k9 data files means r9 here let's see go to the trans directory usr sap so trans co files co files means k9 so request number 50 right because today it got created the 50 request number here then data file r50 that is called the 50 it got created here it got created as a 50 50 request number so the request naming convention will be right we discussed sid k9 and number five digits number right so sid means ecp suppose like np1 np1 k9 and the number nwb nwb number will be automatic generated here right based upon the request here right so that is the transport request will fit into the two files here co files and data files right co files here data files data right here the data is generated here means you are good to import then then from here onwards we are responsible means our team is responsible for importing normally you will get the request saying that i base system could you please import the transport request then we have to go to the which system select suppose the np1 system go to the np1 system with uh, any one of the user here with the np1 system so then just you can log into the system right so then go to uh go to su01 transaction code uh not the su01 just go to the stms transaction code right so go to the import overview which system you want to import suppose like np1 right go to the np1 so just refresh then your request will be here so whatever the request your request will stay it will come to the here means 50 request number 50 right it will come to the in this status here 50 right then select and there is a truck symbol here there is a true Two truck symbols are there here. One is the full load truck, import all, and single request. So this is the one we need to select. Go to select the which client you want to import, double zero one client. Then go to the options here. These are the import options here. 
this is the work we have to do it every day in the office once you log into the system transport imports so select the transport request then click on the import button then select the options which options you want to select you can select it so normally people will select first three last one or some people they won't select anything here which means leave the request in the queue request import the again override the originals override the unconfirmed defects in invalid component version we can select it click on the continue button okay then the truck symbol will be started means pr is getting imported the import is running here so just click on the refresh button here then you can see the rc column there is a green signal which means written code rc means written code rc is equal to zero which means the request is successfully imported so tr import rc's written codes zero four eight twelve there are the four written codes here zero means successfully imported so four means successfully successfully imported with warnings with the warnings so zero or four comes that we can ignore it if the written code is eight then so it's a developer responsibility to fix it but written code 12 is we have to fix it basis team has to fix it here basis team should fix the written code 12 here right that i will explain it first of all you should know how to import the transport request that is a very important concept here right to import the transport request so you need to first of all request you need to select the request which system you want to import suppose you will get the list of system and target system and you will get the so request transport request number as well then select the request number click on the import button right which client do you want to import so select the client then click on the import option here select the client click on the import option right so if you don't select the option sometimes you may face the issues that's why while importing the transport request so you can just choose the options you can choose the options here just click on the yes button okay so then the request will be imported the request will be the request is getting imported done then right? the request is got imported here all right the request got imported so how can we say whether it is imported or not based upon the so based upon the written code here so it's zero four eight twelve zero four means successfully imported eight means so there is an object issue the developer will take care of transport owner will take care of the issue twelve means it's our responsibility system issue so well means system issue means system is not working or something is we have to check it out here right so this is the way we need to import the transport request we have to create it here here everybody let me create some of the some of the transport request here right you guys can do the imports so let me create the transport request here one is the example one so one request I created. So let me release it as well so that we can import it. What happened again? So click on the create or bench request. Right? So example two. example three so three four request i am creating so that you can import it from your side right so that's what i am doing here right mali np1 np1 again issue See? cannot open the file could not access support it may enter again there is a issue 
I deleted that one. So go to SE01. So where can we check the previous request means go to the transports which user you created that user, click on that display, you will see the list of transport requests here. Right? So select the your list of transports, click click this one, then release it, then select it release it like this you can import it here you can do the imports okay example one so like that you can release it you can start working on the systems here okay so this is the way we can so create the request transport request here the directory is corrupted actually File directory is corrupted. So we are unable to create the directory as well. So entire this directory got corrupted actually. So let me see whether we can able to create now. This is also all corrupted, I guess. What about inside of this systems? Corrupted. So this file system got corrupted here. <coughs> but so same import procedure is the same procedure. Log into the system, right? Select the transport request. Click on the import request. You will get the options. Select the options, whatever the options you need to select. Click on the OK button. Click on the OK button. The request will be imported. Right. In case of if any issues with the file system, you may face the this type of errors here. For that one, we know what to do. Right. So we fix it out. Similar way, we have to do the similar use case. We have to fix it out here. So this is the one we need to fix it out here. Right. So that is the one. So here, uh, let me see. There is a file system and this checker we need to execute to fix the type of error. So import up to import, you know, it's clear, right? So that's fine, that's right. 